Hey everyone, the name is Victor and today we're talking INTJ careers and one of my INTJ friends she just said uh, she's out of her job so she said make this video with urgency and I'm going to do just that. So I've been working on and describing and defining sectors different types will be differently skilled in and I've found six sectors that an INTJ will be exceptionally good at. So what are these six sectors? These six sectors. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, these six sectors, they are in order. First, the academic sector. Second, the entrepreneurial sector. Third, the creative sector. Fourth, a sector in the sciences. Fifth, the business sector. And finally, the innovation sector. So these six sectors are going to be exceptionally good for you as an ITJ. You'll thrive there, you'll do great there, you'll be very good in these fields. Why will you be good in the academic field? First, because introverted intuition is naturally trained at deconstructing complexity. If your field has to deal with a large amount of complexity, numbers, theories, data and abstract models, You'll be good at breaking those down and making them useful. Big complex theories, you know, big models, data models, theories, formulas. Those things are necessary to deal with abstract matters of life. You know, there's thousands of decisions out there, thousands of situations out there that are too complex to define in simple sentences and with clear semantics. These sectors require a person that can think conceptually, and you're going to be good at that as an INTJ. The entrepreneurial sector is going to be good for you as an INTJ because it allows for independence, and you are naturally going to be very independent. You're going to be good at making your own decisions and being your own boss. You're going to do better the less micromanaged you are. You're going to be good at most things because an independent person has to be able to deal with and understand many different fields. You're not going to be just uh, a master of one. You're going to be a jack of all trades or a person that can understand and handle basic finance decisions, basic data, complex matters. Uh, websites, communication tools, all those matters. You're going to need all those skills and you're going to be good at all those things because these things are naturally important to you and come from your own sense of independence. Your ability to make abstract decisions, take risks, speculate, predict and act as if you know something even when you don't. Intuition is good for that. Acting like you know something even when you don't. INTJs are also going to be highly creative. So what does this mean? It means that not, they're not going to be creative in the basic stereotype manner of lots of ideas and brainstorming and multitasking, but rather in the ability to work on an idea for a long time and develop an idea and be creative within this one idea. The INTJ is the type that can work with long and hard patience with an idea, with an image that they first only saw within their own head. They're going to be able to develop this project from A to B to C to D. INTJs, they think long term, they predict, they work hard on something and they are able to really devote themselves to a work or an idea if it has become their obsession. So. What's going to be good for you as an INTJ is you're focused and you're able to handle theory and you're able to handle the science of something. So you're going to be able to work with something critically, sometimes perfectionistically. You're going to be able to work on something until it is completely perfect. Beyond this, as an INTJ, you're going to do very well in the field of the sciences. So you're going to be good in fields that require a scientific pro prototype or formula, types the areas that require you to think th about things logically or apply a rational principle. You're going to be able to show principled judgment and critical thinking when dealing with any matter of life. You know, there are matters of life where critical thinking is useless or at least 
not always helpful. And those things are, for example, within relationships. But there is also areas where critical thinking is exceptional, and that is an area, any area where you can work on improvement and reformation. INTJs are excellent at reformation and improvement. They're excellent at improving within a system and perfecting a system or perfecting an approach or a method to make sure it will work in 99.9% .9 of the scenarios. Beyond this, the INTJ is an excellent businessman and a professional. The INTJ is able to follow and set rigorous professional standards for themselves on how much to sell and how to get their goals met and how to uh, ensure success within a project. They're going to be able to handle, you know, and think about what is it I need to succeed? What resources do I need? How do I use these resources? How do I set standards for this? How do I ensure quality within what I do? And how do I maintain my productivity? So what that means uh, is you're naturally trained to think in terms of business, win, profit, loss, gain, needs, resources, materials. What is it you need? How do you use it best? How do you make sure it's used and applied successfully? And here you also see the INTJs sometimes workaholic attitude. Some INTJs, they, they're able to slavishly put themselves towards work and to push themselves within work if it is something they're highly motivated within. They're also able to exercise and put rules on themselves to maintain that standard and to keep performing. So their performance isn't going to be up and down and they're not going to win and secure one deal and suddenly lose everything in a gamble another day. They're going to have some kind of system in place to make sure that they're always kept over ground and that they stay afloat. And that's highly valuable. Finally, innovation. As an INTJ, you're going to be a naturally good innovator. And that means you're a person that is trained to think about how to perfect and improve on what is. You're not going to just employ the rules that are within you or what around you. You're not going to simply uh, deliver within what it is you do. And consistently so, you're also going to be experimenting, testing out ideas, improving and perfecting and trying out new things, seeing if you can get more productivity from a new project venture, testing out if there's new tech available, trying out and seeing if there's something more you can do or something you can do better, seeing if there's any new ideas out there, thinking harder and noticing if there's... Um, any kind of theory you could employ or any kind of system or abstract concept you could use or launch to do better at what you do and to understand your own field and sectors better. So I said that there were four sectors in ITDA you should really consider to improve in what they do. The first sector is the discovery sector. You know. The INTJ needs four key things to thrive and to stay motivated and stay energetic and fascinated with what they do. First, they need new discoveries. Second, they need variation and change. Third, they need tech and innovation, new ideas, new tools, new things to put in place. Fourth, they need leadership. I INTJs are the most at their best when they work close to leadership positions, not within a leadership position, but close by it as an advisor, as somebody running things behind the scenes, as a person ensuring quality and high standards of the authorities in place and of the systems in place. The INTJ is the person that works from the area of the sciences, thinking about things critically and offering critical feedback that a leader can employ or that the system can employ to work at its finest. The INTJ is going to need an area or an environment that offers change and variation. An environment that stays consistent and more or less the same is eventually going to cause you to run out of inspiration. In these ideas, it's hard to be an entrepreneur. It's hard to uh, work on new ideas or new visions or new projects if your environment doesn't change and doesn't give you any positive feedback. You want to know as an INTJ when you're running out new projects, trying out new ideas and pushing towards something new that 
you will cause change around you and that your environment will change and that there will be constant new things to try out. You'll also want to know that your environment is going to be flexible, that you're not going to meet hard resistance, that you're not going to meet a lot of people that will stand in the way and that people won't be too set on the old ways of society or of old tech or old innovation. You'll want to be a person that can bring new things to the world and feel that your ideas will be respected and appreciated in society. You also want to work close by the tech sector, you know, where people are de developing the latest tools and gadgets, where people are working with computers, new technology, AI, and new systems. And ITJ is great in the tech sector, working as a kind of uh, salesman of tech, a person that takes tech and markets it and puts a strategy for it and comes up with a project or a system for tech. You'll be the person that takes tech, puts it in a box and sells it like Steve Jobs. You'll be the person that uh, spots new innovation, spots new opportunities, and you'll be the person working close by new discoveries. You'll want to work close by new discoveries and in areas where people are making new fields, making new discoveries and trying out new things. If you can work where people are experimenting and doing the latest cutting edge research or where people are making the latest discoveries, and if you can be the person that is the first to discover these discoveries, the first person to note this and understand and figure out why these discoveries are made and how to use them, that's going to be key to your growth as an ITJ within your career and within what you do. So what you're going to look at is create a job or find a job title or make your own job title, a place where you can be both an entrepreneur, a creative type, a scientist, a businessman, an innovator and an academic. Find a place where you can be all these things and find environments that will give you new discoveries, new ideas, new tech and where you can have influence and where you can have power or work close to power. That's my tip for you as an INTJ. I hope this video made sense and I hope it will help you on your next career choice or within what it is you do right now. Because the thing is, what I note this is, whatever it is you do right now, there is a way to change your job description or to come up with new tasks or new ways. If you're not feeling that your job is doing it for you, you can switch, you can do something new, you can find something else. It's never too late to study and to start up something new. People think they're done products when they're 25. People think they're finished when they're 30, you know. Uh, that's not the truth. But most importantly, you can also change from within what it is you do right now. You can ask for more independence at your workplace. You can ask for more power and responsibility. You can ask to uh, hold a more academic position within what it is you do or to uh, start taking on more responsibility. You can ask uh, for the chance to run a project or to chart a course for a new idea. You can ask for the chance to seal business or... Uh, uh, to seal a deal within a business sector or to uh, work more professionally with what, within what it is you do. And it's not impossible that your boss, boss will actually appreciate, appreciate this. There is a chance that they will see your qualities and see your potential and want to help and support you in whatever it is you decide to do. And if it's not, then I think it's time to find something else. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.